Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add a shapefile to Google Earth Pro. To start, let's go up to File, Import. Now, you can see down here, it's going to default most likely to a text or CSV. So when you click onto this dropdown, you can see there's a, a variety of different file types you could add. But for this example, let's stick to shapefile, which is the second from the top, ESRI shapefile. So when I do that, I can see my sample data set already. So if I click onto it and click open, it's going to ask me if I want to apply a style to the features I'm, um, I'm adding. So there's two ways around it. Let's start with no. So if I click on no, it's going to start zooming to the area. And don't worry, the data is there. It just doesn't default to click on right over here. So if I click here, I can see my data. And I'm just going to kind of tilt the map a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Now, I think there's about 200 or so in this list. But just a caveat to know, I think Google Earth Pro only allows uh, 2,500 records uh, to be imported at, at a time. So just something to think about. Either you have multiple layers or you reduce the file size, but just something to think about. So if we right click onto our new shapefile data that we added and go to properties, we could change the, uh, the symbology here. Now, if we go over to style and color, right here, you can see that it's defaulted to random. That's why I have these random colors select here. If I uncheck that, it's going to be just one generic white default here. So to change that, if we wanted to, we could click start with lines and we could say we want those darkened. We could change the opacity. So if we want to bring that down, 75%. Now the area, we could just have just a, a filled without the outline. We could just have it outlined. And then you know we could change this say to like a yellow so that stands out. Or we could have filled and outlined. So say if I wanted that darkened and the area all like a shade of green, for example. And again, I could bring down the opacity, say to 50. So you can really just customize this as you like. Now here's my attributes. So as you can see, I have some very basic data in here, acreage, the uh, parcel number, uh, subdivision. Now, if I wanted to maybe remove a couple of these, what I could do is again, right click onto my shape file, go to properties, go to style and color, and down here it's gonna say balloon. Now that's the balloon is referring to that pop-up that we saw here. So I know it's a little difficult to see, but in here, you can see, well, here's my subdivision, your built and area. Say if I just did not want that, we could just go ahead and select those items and simply delete that and say, okay. Now, if I click again, you can see that those fields have now been removed. So if you recall, when we added the shapefile to Google Earth Pro, we had a, uh, a window that popped up said, do you want to ingest a style template to the feature? Uh, yes or no. And I said, no. So I just want to show you about creating a style and applying the style. So let's go ahead and remove the sample data. Uh, let's delete that. Yes. And we go again to file, import, import my shape file. And do you want to apply a style template to the features you ingest? So this time I want to say yes. And I want to use an existing template. So here are my templates. And again, it's kind of defaulted where it doesn't check your data. So you always got to kind of do that. So here's a blue style. So how I created that was, and you could also edit it. Go up to edit, apply style template. And then you could either say use existing template. See this blue one, and I could say edit selected template. Click OK. 
And what I'm doing here is the color, I have it color coded by subdivision. So each subdivision has this unique shade of color. You know, I could simply uh, change the color ramp to, you know, something else, but I would have to uh, save it as something different, different name. So here's the green. Um, so to create a brand new one, which in a sense, this kind of is doing that. Um, I'm just renaming to a new file. Again, if I want to edit, apply style template, I could say, just create a new template and say, okay. So from here, I could do uh, color, all one color, color or single color rather, random colors, um, color by a field, and I could select a field. So that's just another way around it. So in any way, just want to show you guys that it's, it's quite easy to import a shapefile into Google or Pro. You could style it, you could save your styles, and you could also edit the balloon or the call out window uh, with the attributes that you currently have. You could remove those if you wish. So hopefully you guys find that helpful. As always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any suggestions for any other videos you'd like to see. As always, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.